All right, welcome everyone. Please don't skip this video. Watch this video real quick. I'll be so fast. Welcome to Boiler GPT. What is Boiler GPT? You might ask. You probably heard about it. People talking about it. What is it? Basically, Boiler GPT is AI-powered learning for you guys, for Purdue students. Now, why did I build this? Well, I saw how important ChatGPT was to improve student learning. I saw how it increased my productivity, how it increased everyone's productivity, and I realized that the main issue with ChatGPT is that it's not fine-tuned to your class data. It doesn't understand the class specifics that really help you learn the course the way Purdue intended to teach it. So, Boiler GPT solves that problem, and basically, it does this by allowing you to upload documents relative to the class. So, for example, if you make a study guide, if you find a notes document, if you find a YouTube video online that relates to the course topic, those are all resources that the AI can learn from and needs to know about. So with BoilerGBT, we let you upload those documents to the AI and basically train it to know more about your class. And this really shines because when it knows more about your class, it can give you uh, answers that you understand in the context of the class. So, for example, if you're doing a math problem and produce a certain way of teaching that math problem, if you upload enough resources, the AI can pick up on how that's taught and it teach you better. Basically, it's powered by GPT-4. Now, you might notice that ChatGPT is powered on GPT-3.5. So, off the bat, Boiler GPT is free GPT-4 access for you forever. So, it's already better. After you watch this video, you need to go and join your classes. So on the next tab, go ahead and search for your classes by the course code. For example, MA265. Um, if you don't see your class there, you need to go ahead and create it because I haven't created all the classes for you guys. You need to create them as, as they appear. So if you're the first student in a class, you may have to create it. Don't worry about that. It's super easy. Um, but basically, if it's there, you search for it. You should click on it. And then when you've selected all your classes, you can do join classes and then go ahead to the next page. Um, I don't want you to complete the Purdue Honor Code because, once again, this is a learning tool. It's meant to help students learn, not to cheat. So keep that in mind, use it correctly, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. So how do you actually use BoilerGPT? Well, once you log on, you should be on the Learn Concepts page. Um, and from here, you see a drop down in the top left. That's how you select your class environment. So if you're in your like Python coding class, the AI is going to know a lot more about Python and coding. So you want to make sure that you're in the right kind of uh, class environment when you're asking your questions. So basically it's like a chatbot, it's like ChatGPT. You go ahead and type in your questions, except there's a few notable improvements and that is BoilerGPT can output graphs as well as it can code extensively in Python um, and C and it can also render uh, HTML SVGs in line. So what does that mean? Basically it can express its ideas to you much more visually. So if you want to create like a diagram, for example, you can type in, let's create a mermaid diagram of blank or whatever, and then it can go ahead and make that diagram for you. And this can help when you're coding things, this can help you if you're trying to visualize something. Um, and if you want to just go ahead and, and just draw web pages, you can say, write me the HTML code for a web page that has a cat in SVG, and I'll go ahead and draw that um, in the box. But what most you'll be using it for um, is asking questions for homework, and it can give lots of good guidance on how to solve problems. Um, just some general advice. Uh, ask for how ask for the steps on how to solve problems because uh, its accuracy is not 100% yet we're working to increase that um, but it does have a good idea on how to solve problems and that's honestly how it can help you because it can teach you how to solve the problems better if you ever want to leave a class you can go ahead in the top right to the class um, drop down and you can go ahead and select leave class uh, and refresh the page and everything like that if you want to sign out that's an option for you as well um, then to the most important part is if you want to view class resources on the left, there's two more tabs. There's topic resources and class resources. Topic resources are basically general things that relate to the area of study. Like if you find a goaded YouTube video about how to do some integrals, that would be a topic resource. Um, but if you upload like a class lecture, that would be a class resource. Um, and also, uh, the AI can index basically anything you want to upload. So if you want to upload code files, if you want to upload, you can even link websites and I'll go ahead and index the entire website for you. So basically, the important part is please ask a question so that I can learn. But more importantly, I need you guys to upload resources because the more resources that gets uploaded to it, the smarter it gets and the more it can help you guys. So if you find anything at all that relates to your class, go ahead and upload that and it'll make the AI smarter. And then as far as chatting goes, if you ever want to make a new chat, there's a button in the bottom left that kind of resets your chat window. I recommend doing one chat per kind of like question topic. So don't have the same conversation, move around topics too much, keep it kind of in the same thing. If you have a new idea, go ahead and click the new chat button. And next to that button as well is the history, so you can see all your previous chats. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. If you want to help us out, we need help uh, coding this. I need help coding this because there's a lot of stuff that we can optimize and make better. 
Um, but yeah, thanks for listening. Go ahead and onboard, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.